Welcome to this DBBR155 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup and stopping procedures. Climb aboard to get started. To get the locomotive started, set the battery isolation switch. The auxiliary compressor will be used to raise the pantograph later. This locomotive draws power from the overhead electrical supply via a pantograph mounted on the roof. For this to work, we'll need to set up and then raise the pantograph. A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. To get the locomotive up and running, set the reverser. Wait a moment and let the auxiliary compressor charge. Now, activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. The compressor fills the air brake system with air so that the brakes can be released when you're ready. The brake key confirms the train is in control from this cab. The driver's brake valve is used to manage the brakes across the entire train. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a train is operational. To get moving, only a small amount of tractive force is needed. Once up to speed, with the startup procedure complete, release the remaining brakes. To apply power, rotate the tap changer to the desired tap index, and then you will see the locomotive gradually move up to that tap index as more power gets applied to the traction motors. Now we're rolling, we can apply more power and focus can be diverted towards achieving a desired speed. Now that the desired speed has been met, traction no longer needs to be applied and we can coast. The tap index will need to be at zero before any braking force can be applied. Failure to do this will cause a traction lockout until the tap index reaches zero. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding.
We are nearing our destination to Hohenlimburg sidings and will soon need to start applying a small amount of brake force to perform a comfortable stop. Good work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive.